Hey everyone, welcome back to Auto Vehicle Info, your go-to channel for everything automotive and aviation. Today, we're diving into the skies to talk about an absolute legend in the world of aviation, the 2026 Cessna 172 Skyhawk, the single-engine trainer aircraft that continues to dominate flight schools and capture the hearts of pilots worldwide. If you're a student pilot, an aviation enthusiast, or just curious about what makes this aircraft so special, buckle up because we're about to explore every detail of this iconic plane, from its history and design to its cutting-edge features and why it remains the gold standard for flight training in 2026. Make sure to stick around until the end, hit that like button, and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our deep dives into the world of vehicles and aircraft. Let's start with a bit of background on the Cessna 172 Skyhawk, because its legacy is nothing short of remarkable. First introduced in 1956 by the Cessna Aircraft Company, now part of Textron Aviation, the Skyhawk has become the most produced aircraft in history, with over 44,000 units built as of 2015, and production still going strong in 2026. That's right, this plane has been a staple for nearly seven decades, evolving through countless upgrades while staying true to its roots as a reliable, forgiving, and versatile aircraft. The 2026 model continues this tradition, blending classic design with modern technology to create a trainer that's perfect for both new pilots and seasoned aviators. Its origins trace back to the Cessna 170, a tail dragger from the late 1940s, but the 172 introduced tricycle landing gear, a high wing configuration, and a design that made it easier to fly and land, especially for beginners. This aircraft isn't just a plane, it's a cultural icon in aviation, used by flight schools, private owners, and even military forces in over 30 countries, including the US. Air Force's T-41 Mescalero variant for pilot training. So, what makes the 2026 Cessna 172 Skyhawk stand out? Let's talk about its design and structure first. The Skyhawk is a four-seat, single-engine, high-wing, fixed-wing aircraft with a tricycle landing gear setup, which means it has a nose wheel instead of a tail wheel, making it more stable and easier to handle on the ground. The high-wing design is a key feature, offering pilots unobstructed views below, which is ideal for training, sightseeing, or even aerial surveillance. The airframe is constructed primarily of aluminum, known for its durability and lightweight properties, with a semi-monocoque design that provides strength without adding unnecessary weight. The 2026 model measures about 27 feet 2 inches in length, with a wingspan of 36 feet 1 inch, and a height of 8 feet 11 inches. Its gross weight is around 2,550 pounds, with a useful load of approximately 800 pounds, allowing for a pilot, passengers, fuel, and baggage. The cabin is spacious for a light aircraft, with a width of about 40 inches and a volume of 4.4 cubic meters, accessed through two doors, one on each side, for easy entry and exit. The baggage compartment, located behind the rear seats, is accessible via a dedicated door and can hold up to 120 pounds, making it practical for cross-country trips or training missions. Now, let's get to the heart of the 2026 Skyhawk, its engine. The 2026 model is powered by a Lycoming IO360L2A, a four-cylinder, fuel-injected piston engine that delivers 180 horsepower. This engine is a proven workhorse, known for its reliability and efficiency, driving a two-blade, fixed-pitch Macaulay propeller with a polished chrome spinner for improved performance and aesthetics. The IO360L2A runs on 100LL aviation fuel, though earlier attempts at diesel variants like the 172TD with. The Thielert Centurion 2.0 engine were discontinued by 2018 due to manufacturer issues. The 2026 Skyhawks engine provides a maximum cruise speed of about 140 knots, 161 miles per hour, and a service ceiling of 14,000 feet, though it typically operates at lower altitudes for training. Its fuel capacity is 56 gallons, with 53 gallons usable, giving it a range of approximately 640 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 122 knots, or about 5 hours of endurance with reserves. This makes it ideal for both short training flights and longer cross-country journeys. 
The engine's time between overhauls TBO, is typically 2,000 hours, which keeps maintenance costs manageable for flight schools and private owners. One of the standout features of the 2026 Cessna 172 Skyhawk is its avionics suite, which has been modernized to meet the demands of today's pilots. The aircraft comes standard with the Garmin G1000 NXI glass cockpit, a state-of-the-art integrated flight instrument system that replaces traditional analog gauges with two 10.4-inch LCD displays, one for primary flight data and one for multifunction data like navigation and engine monitoring. The G1000 NXI includes GPS, VOR, ILS, and WAS capabilities, making it suitable for both visual flight rules VFR, and instrument flight rules IFR, training. It also features synthetic vision technology, which displays a 3D rendering of terrain, obstacles, and flight paths, enhancing situational awareness, especially in low visibility conditions. The system integrates XMWX satellite weather and radio, with a subscription, a transponder, and dual navigation communication radios. For added safety, the 2026 model includes the Garmin GFC 700 Autopilot, which offers airspeed hold, pitch hold, and coupled VNAV, reducing pilot workload during long flights or complex maneuvers. The cockpit also boasts USB charging ports, power headset jacks at every seat, LED interior lighting, and tinted sun visors to reduce glare, making it a comfortable and tech-forward environment for training. Safety is a cornerstone of the Cessna 172's reputation, and the 2026 Skyhawk is no exception. It has one of the lowest fatality rates in general aviation, with a reported 0.56 fatal crashes per 100,000 flying hours compared to the industry average of 1.2-1.4. The high wing design contributes to stability, and the tricycle landing gear with shock-absorbing main gear and hydraulically actuated disc brakes ensures smooth ground handling. The aircraft's slow stall speed, around 47 knots with flaps extended, makes it forgiving for student pilots learning to handle stalls and landings. Additional safety features include high-intensity discharge, hit landing lights, an electric stall warning system, and optional equipment like the Garmin Electronic Stability and Protection ESP system, which helps prevent loss of control in critical situations. The airframe's rugged construction and proven design have been refined over decades, with improvements like shock-mounted cowlings to reduce noise and vibration, and a pneumatic stall warning horn for reliability. The 2026 model also meets FAA Part 23 certification standards, ensuring compliance with modern safety regulations. Let's talk performance, because the 2026 Skyhawk is built to deliver. Its maximum takeoff weight is 2,550 pounds, and it can climb at a rate of about 730 feet per minute at sea level, though this varies with conditions. The aircraft's optimal cruise speed is around 122 to 140 knots, depending on configuration, with a fuel burn of approximately 8 to 10 gallons per hour at cruising altitude. Its landing distance is impressively short, about 1,335 feet over a 50-foot obstacle, making it suitable for small airfields. The Skyhawk's stability and predictable handling make it a favorite for flight training, as it responds well to inputs without being overly sensitive. Instructors often note that students can solo in as little as 5 to 10 hours due to the plane's forgiving nature, though mastering aviation regulations and emergency procedures takes longer. The 2026 model's performance is enhanced by aerodynamic tweaks, like a shorter stroke nose gear oleo to reduce drag and redesign wheel fairings for improved efficiency, ensuring it remains competitive with modern trainers like the Piper Cherokee or Diamond DA40. Now, let's address the cost of owning and operating a 2026 Cessna 172 Skyhawk, because that's a big consideration for flight schools and private buyers. A brand new 2026 Skyhawk with standard equipment starts at around $450,000, Though fully loaded models with options like the Garmin GFC 700 Autopilot or Connext Satellite Iridium can push the price closer to $650,000. For comparison, used Skyhawks from the 1960s to 2000s range from $40,000 to $300,000, depending on condition, hours flown, and upgrades. Operating costs average $100 minus $200 per hour, factoring in fuel, around $6 minus $8 per gallon for 100LL maintenance and insurance. 
Annual inspections cost $1,000 $2,000, while 100-hour inspections, required for flight schools, add similar costs. Insurance ranges from $1,200 to $5,000 annually, depending on pilot experience and coverage. Engine reserves for overhauls are estimated at $1,700 per 100 hours, and a full overhaul can cost $20,000 $30,000. Hangar fees, landing fees, and avionics upgrades, like retrofitting AG-1000, also add to the total. Despite these costs, the Skyhawk's strong resale value and reliability make it a solid investment, especially for flight schools like ATP Flight School, which operates over 300 Skyhawks and plans to add 60 more in 2026. The 2026 Skyhawks versatility extends beyond training. It's used for personal travel, aerial surveillance like U.S. Border Patrol operations and even military applications in countries like Ireland and South Korea. Textron Aviation's Top Hawk program, celebrating its 10th anniversary in 2025, provides flight schools like United Flight Systems and VNE Aviation with custom-branded Skyhawks to promote pilot training at airshows and events. The aircraft's ability to operate from small airfields, combined with its endurance, demonstrated by a record-breaking 64-day continuous flight in 1958, makes it a favorite for diverse missions. Its four-seat configuration allows for family trips or small business use, and its payload capacity supports light cargo or equipment. The 2026 model's modern avionics also make it a capable platform for instrument training, helping pilots earn advanced ratings. What sets the 2026 Cessna 172 Skyhawk apart from competitors like the Piper Cherokee or Cirrus SR-20? For one, its production numbers and longevity are unmatched, with over 50,000 units built by 2026. The Cherokee offers similar performance but lacks the Skyhawk's high wing visibility, while the Cirrus SR-20, though faster and more luxurious, comes with a higher price tag, around $755,000 in 2020. The Diamond DA-40 is a modern alternative, but its composite construction and lower production volume can't rival the Skyhawk's proven track record. The Skyhawk's ease of maintenance, availability of parts, and global network of over 300 Cessna pilot centers make it a practical choice. Plus, its reputation for safety and ease of use, often described as, ridiculously easy, to fly, gives it an edge for beginners. As we wrap up, let's reflect on why the 2026 Cessna 172 Skyhawk remains the ultimate trainer. Its blend of classic design, modern technology, and unmatched reliability makes it the backbone of flight training worldwide. Whether you're a student pilot taking your first solo, an instructor teaching the next generation, or a private owner planning a weekend getaway, the Skyhawk delivers. Its Garmin G1000 NXI cockpit, 180 horsepower Lycoming engine, and safety features like a low stall speed and robust airframe ensure it meets the needs of 2026's aviation community. Textron Aviation's commitment to innovation, seen in programs like Top Hawk and ongoing fleet expansions, keeps the Skyhawk relevant nearly 70 years after its debut. If you're considering flight training or aircraft ownership, the 2026 Skyhawk is a no-brainer. That's it for today's deep dive into the 2026 Cessna 172 Skyhawk on Auto Vehicle Info. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow aviation buffs, and subscribe for more content on planes, cars, and everything in between. Let us know in the comments if you've flown a Skyhawk or if you're dreaming of getting behind the yoke. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and stay curious.